Hey guys, it's Krugly again with another ROM review and this time it's more of an update to an awesome ROM. Uh, this is Science Mod 11, an official build by Temasek. And I have to say this, he is on fire. It's really an awesome ROM and this now is in its 14th iteration. The last time I did a video of this, it was in V6. And a lot of things have changed and a lot of things have been added and it's more stable now. So I just want to make a video of it. So here it is. So we see the normal uh, lock screen. Yes. We have the Google Experience Launcher. So yeah, I just uh, enabled that one. It works pretty good. Let's go to the about phone first. Now, as you can see, the personalizes personalization setting you can see a lot of options here these are all new options I will get to that in a minute let's go to a part phone uh, here it is it is 4.4 GT9300 again pretty cool Temasex unofficial version v14 that's the I think that's the awesome part it is v14 that means it has a lot of new features including a lot of Omniron features slim bean features a lot of them I'll get to that later so, uh, how has this developed? Okay, uh, let's start with this. This is now more stable and more uh, usable than it was ever before. Uh, I didn't expect any force source issues in this and I didn't get any. So, it is obviously a move in the right direction. It's really awesome. Let's get to the features now, the additional extra features. Let's get to lock screen now. I don't remember if V6 had this, but it has a lot more settings now. You have widget pager, that means the uh, extra widgets. You have 8 slider target, it is uh, like this you can see. Changing the option resets your current lock screen targets. If you have enabled a lot of apps or widgets in the lock screen, it will get reset. So you have to do this, well, start at the start I guess. So what is this? 8 target, 8 target okay you have eight targets here that is it so that's pretty neat start me um, start maximize is that uh, the widget will be maximized at the start so you have to click here for the unlock feature it's available in all the 4.3 ROM so pretty uh, old feature I would say themes again interface interface has a, a few new features such as notification drawer these this was I guess available in that also but uh, not to a full extent uh, so quick settings is now fully fully functional it has all the features from the previous ROMs like 4.3 so you have quick down uh, quick pull down right or left uh, auto close tiles and layout again a lot of tiles available like the science and mod even the camera which is obviously one of my favorite so that's a few pretty awesome features so let's go back now you have dark UI which is uh, from I guess the slim ROM series you can enable dark uh, it triggers lock screen you can see the background is dark rather than the halo um, glowish style so yeah it, it does enable the lock screen in the process so yeah now what else, uh, Temasek spare parts, this is where all the other stuff are. So you have status bar settings like battery icon, it does have a few icons to, for you to tinker with. So uh, dotted circle, percentage, etc. You have also the color options, clear animation, uh, circle animation speed when you're charging, etc. Clock and date are, uh, you can align them to center, right, AM, PM indicator, uh, date, etc available those features are were available in the previous ROMs also so it's pretty standard now network indicator pretty awesome you can see arrows there um, what else lights and warning again uh, screen on notification light if the screen is on normally the notification light is off but with this option you can have both of them so low battery warning you want whatever option you want you can even disable that screen animation you Awesome feature, you have active display, which is, well, I use it in 4.3 ROMs, and I am going to use it in this one also. My favorite uh, features are high low priority, notification text, pocket mode to notification only. That means the um, proximity sensor here won't be enabled until your screen is off. So, let's see. Now it is on. 
it will be off yes that's what i want pretty awesome feature redisplay whatever you have all these features again from the active display i guess it's from uh chameleon or get uh, so it's pretty awesome now you do have list view animations also as I've said in my previous video is one of my most Sought after feature in any ROM so you have scale and overshoot interpolator That's my choosing for the best one you have AOKP system animations So you can customize whatever you want It's pretty awesome uh, Once you tinker start drink, tinkering with it you will change it like billion times before you're fed up with it so that really keeps a long gtvt of the rom so that's pretty awesome mm, what else now general settings have the ram bar setting that is this one you can even change the um this thing let's go back to the setting okay uh let's see clear uh recent position you have you can top top and bottom left or right so i'm going to keep bottom right so let's see if it's on okay you can see that right so that's uh clear all recent ram bar you can you even have this like in the previous rom so you have intuitive functions like color coding for different things so whatever your color screen is that you can have that so it's now showing 451 megs which is insane amount of ram free uh, so that's pretty awesome uh, I have to say that this is not the fastest ROM yet. Uh, sorry about that. You have to wait a bit longer for the fastest ROM. This is pretty usable. It does have a few glitches when it's fully, fully loaded up with uh, apps and such. It does kind of get a bit slag laggier than you install when you have installed it freshly. Well, it's same with uh, all other RAMs, all ROMs also. So. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. So what else now navigation? It does have navigation bar, which is the uh, bar you have to restart for that to get it I will show you guys that now, it was available in the v6 also. So that's nothing. Okay You don't have to restart it. You see the navigation bar is here. You have all these options. So no problems there uh, Global menu is the options available in this menu. You can change it. You can have sound at the top things like that so sound is at the top you have all these options also so you can even add custom apps to that menu like if you are a camera user or an any do user you need to keep your task up to date you can just click uh, long press this and just have whatever app you want there it's a pretty awesome feature uh, halo again awesome <laughs> awesome little uh, tweak i guess uh, halo is available in this rom it was available from a uh, few versions earlier also but now it's it works with uh, active display it had a few issues with active display previously now it works so there is no problems there you have uh, ninja mode that is it is a halo 2.0 um with reverse halo uh where is the uh, size that's what I was looking for. Minuscule, I just like really small halo circle. So, yes, I guess that much is it. It does have a lot of new features also, like in such as Omni ROM. Uh, it does have a feature called uh, in call in non intrusive in call UI. Uh, what does that what that does is that uh, whenever you get a call and you are doing something here the whole screen won't turn to call screen no uh, it just gives you a small window here with uh, uh, accept decline the show uh, the caller's face and the caller's name that's it it's a non-intrusive small ui tweak which gives you something uh, well it's a nice feature to have uh, it is a way it, you can disable that from here uh, you go to here the phone app settings in there uh, you have interface non-intrusive you can enable that or disable that I guess it is working I haven't tested it out I have seen this working in Omni ROM so that's pretty awesome uh, Omni ROM again it has uh, gone beyond all expectations and it is now delivering a really awesome AOSP ROM I will make a video review of that one also but uh, let's wait for that uh, what else what is the new features then uh, Yes, again, this is stablest ever. This uh, it really blows off uh, the previous versions. I did have a few restart issues with previous versions, none to be seen here. It's 
pretty much a capable ROM now. Um, yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Let me show you, show you guys the boot animation like all of the videos. So, so here is the Tamasix uh, unofficial CM11 boot animation, which is awesome. By the way, it's a ring of fire with uh, Sanjin model logo, I guess. So it's pretty cool. It has been uh, the same since the uh, previous versions of uh, this ROM. So I guess there you have it. You have all the pretty awesome stuff from all the previous ROMs now available in the newer awesomer Android, which is this one, 4.4. So yeah, I guess that much is it. Not much, many of bugs. It does still have a few stutter issues when opening high intensity apps or something like that but hey you have to live with that because it's still not the official one or things like that it is still an official version and 4.4 it will only be the best until our AS3 gets the official version from Samsung the stock version uh, but hey I can't say that about 4.3 version because Samsung guys just really made it horrible I just wish they would release a new version in our country also so that we can uh, get new versions so uh, yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM so uh, please subscribe like and share the video if you really found it useful uh, see you guys next time bye